Hey yo people, Philip Link here with some real quick instructions about using your iPhone 15 Pro as a cabled monitor directly to your Sony camera without any additional accessories. So let's get into it. Now I have no clue why no videos have shown this. I was not aware this was even capable until I bought my new camera. I'm using a Sony a7C II and an iPhone 15 Pro. It seems like this should be common knowledge but no one is talking about how the iPhone 15s work natively with Sony cameras directly with being cabled. And the best part to me is the fact that no additional gear or purchases are needed for this to work. You can use the USB-C cable that came with your phone. And in this instance, I'm using the shorter USB-C cable that came with the gimbal here. So step one is installing the app. There are two options, Sony's Creator app and this app called Monitor Plus, which is a free but powerful app. They have a paid version to unlock more features. Everything in this video is using the free version without any add-ons. Now I prefer the Monitor Plus app over the Sony as it's far more streamlined and powerful, and that's what we're gonna be using today here. So now we've got the app installed. Now I've seen many YouTubers talk about this app using the wireless, but a lot of them complain about the latency. This method is using the same app, but directly cabling it to your phone. And we'll go ahead and open that up. So right now I already have the app Bluetooth paired. You can see it there. But what we're gonna do is take the USB-C cable out of the gimbal pop it into the bottom. On the camera, you've got four options here, live streaming, image transfer. We're gonna be picking the remote shoot on the bottom, and that is treating this device as a laptop. Now we see the device pop up as USB, we hit enter, and here we are. So simple as that, we have a super bright and far more responsive screen than what's here on the camera itself, with the iPhone 15 getting so bright for daylight use. So right here in the app, we've got the data going around the outside here, where we can swipe up or down to hide that, and each of these is a live button to the camera itself, so we can change the format on the fly, simple as that. All this info is the essential settings in the camera itself from ISO, iris, auto white balance, manual focus, and then over on the right here, we have the focus mode. On the bottom left, we do have that light histogram, and then right there in the center, we have the record button. With the record button, we've got a nice visual cue of the red box around the outside with the numbers and the red block there. So when you have this pointed at yourself, you can easily see when you're recording and not. Now you can see on the bottom right, all of the different locked out features that come from the paid version, but you can get away with all of the essentials in this free version. Now the feature that everybody talks about is the wireless pairing of this device, but with the direct cabled connection, it's far more reliable. And as we click around, everything is very responsive far better than the wireless latency when you're using the Wi-Fi to pair these. Now, personally, I don't like wireless connections with the increased latency and worse battery life over here, so almost always I'm gonna be tethered. But one great benefit is this still works with the Bluetooth remote, and on a Bluetooth gimbal, I assume that's also gonna be able to hit go with your monitor staying live. Now, as far as mounting the phone to the gimbal, I'm just using a standard small rig magic arm here with the PGY Tech little phone clamp plan to get a MagSafe adapter so I can quickly pop it on and off. And the other thing is I plan to get a longer Condor Blue cable so I can have more reach. And the great part about all this mounting is there are about an infinite amount of ways you can do it, including using an iPad. We can set that down here using a longer USB-C cable. And then you can also plug the iPad into the wall if you're using a charging dock for it. What I have noticed, it doesn't charge the camera through the phone, but it does decrease the power draw on it. And I believe you're gonna have a much better battery life when using an iPad plugged into the wall, plugged into your camera as a monitor. So the big question is what camera and phones does this work with? I don't have an answer for you. This is an iPhone 15 Pro. I imagine it'll work with the iPhone 15, but they do have a different USB-C between those two phones. And this being a Sony a7C II is a much newer generation than some of the old a7Ies and S3s. Now right now I do plan on purchasing the full version of the Monitor Plus. For 20 bucks, this thing is already far more value added than purchasing a two or three or $400 monitor. So I'm definitely gonna give that a go, just one as a thanks for the company and two to unlock some of these other features along with tap autofocus, similar to what you can do on the screen here. So in addition to all these settings, we do have the more in-depth features, which are mostly locked off until you get the paid version, including a watch capability where you can start and stop recording from your watch. I still love having the reliability of a Bluetooth remote directly to the camera. So all the things you do see here will be unlocked with the Monitor Plus Pro. So if we wanna see what the Pro unlocks, we're gonna go here to our settings, Monitor Pro, buy now. Double click to pay. Successful purchase. Now we've got the pro symbol right there next to the exit page. Sadly, this button doesn't seem to go away. 
then we've got the same settings over here, and then we've unlocked all these additional settings we can go through and adjust. So now we've unlocked all these settings down here in the bottom right. You can add some things in. Really impressive. I'm gonna do some extra capability in the phone itself. Now the best unlock with that, in our autofocus, we'll swap over here to expanded spot, and you can see is where the focus is going to move to. That part is really great. So that's all I've got for you here today. Let me know if you got any questions. I'll be happy to help. Have a good day. Peace.